Hola! Bonjour! Como te allez vous? You <laughs> just asked them what their name was. I did not say what your name was. <laughs> I said, Como te allez vous? It means, how are you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, uh uh. Ketchupella is something about. <laughs> Katrina, hush! I'm setting the mood. Okay, I'm so sorry. We have gone out for a meal. <laughs> You've gone out for a meal. And you look at the menu. And you decide, ooh, I want some of them fancy olives that you see on the thing. But as an appetizer, they're usually very, very expensive. Or you're walking through the farmer's market. And you say, oh, I want some olives. And they got them all laid out, all them Greek olives, all fancy like. Very expensive. But let me tell you what. We're going to show you how to cheat it. How to make, how to get that flavor into an olive. And it's going, you're going to think you was in a restaurant. Ellis! Yes. Come here, baby. Now, this is Ellis. <laughs> she is my granddaughter. Don't throw that face. <laughs> oh, my God. That was frightening. Please don't, don't I, ever do that keep, again. Keep your face straight. <laughs> she, she can eat you out of some olives, can't you, Ellis? Yeah. You like an olive, don't you? So, today, you and Nanny, we're going to make some Olives extraordinaire. You got me? Yes. All right. So, in here, all you need to do is go into your supermarket, go down the value aisle, okay, where you can get them big jars of plain Jane stuck in some brine olives. But we're going to get two types. So, we're going to get, well, actually, we got three okay. here. We've got the black olive, <laughs> your green olive. And this is um, give me a bit of that. Yeah, no, that's like your kind of yeah. mm, like the Greek ones, okay? I like Greek olives. All right, now all we're gonna do to this, I have chopped up. Alice, can you tell me what that is? Ginger. Ginger and garlic. Garlic. This, do you know what that is? No. Coriander. Or yeah, parsley. Onion. And these are onions. And you get them nice okay. and fine. Is it coriander or is it parsley? Which one is it? Yeah. This one is coriander. Okay. But you could use parsley. Okay, cool. So, Ellis, I'd like for you to put that into our bowl, please. Did you wash your hands? Go on, wash your hands, girl. Wow. You know better than that. <laughs> Alright, quickly. Camera is rolling. Here, paper towel. Dry them. Okay, now we go back to <laughs> Alice. That's enough. Don't waste the paper. No. All right. Would yes. you please yes. put those into? Great. All in. Then what we're going to do, I'll knock it off. We're going to put some sea salt. Okay. We're going to put a few chili peppers. Now, these are really nice. They call them wok spices. Okay, sorry. And There's... all it is is chopped dried chili. Oh, okay. Okay? So you could use any brand you of chopped chili flakes. any flakes. brand you want, but this is good because they're dried. So we're just going to put a little bit of chili powder in. Would it work with um, fresh chilies? Yeah, you could use fresh, but it might blow your head. But, yeah, you could use fresh. Okay. And this is just my garlic and coriander seasoning, just a little bit of that. And then can you get the olive oil and pour some olive oil over it. And you want to get the olive oil. That's it. Okay, so is that quite a healthy amount of olive oil? Yeah, you really want to, because you're going to pour off all of the brine, all of the liquid from the jar. Okay. So that it is just the olive oil. And then the best thing to do is get yourself just an empty old jar, wash it out. And then we're going to just put a lot of oh good googa mooga. If I had a wait a minute, where's my oh, Lordy. No, I'm gonna do it this way, it's easier. Oh, God. So let me get my liquid in. And then you just want to get your olives in. And basically the best for the best result, leave this. Oh, they are going everywhere. Oh, it's all right. I'm going to clean them up. I can clean them up. Right you can clean them up, Ellis. Go on. Clean them up. Girl, you clean them up. That's the way you clean them up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, Lord have mercy. Push that down. 
And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put the lid on and let these, give them a shake and bake. You go shake and bake. And then those are our fresh, homemade, specialty olives. Now, if you want, you can then take them to your local farmer's market, set yourself up a stall. You might have spent, I spent, I'd say, a total of two pounds, which is about $2.50. I can now take that same thing. I can put them in a jar this big, sell that for a fiver. Because <laughs> that's what people do. That's how they roll. Can I ask, would you store them in the fridge or would no, you just I leave them, them ambient? Leave them out. Leave okay. them out a ambient. That's why you've got them covered with the olive oil. Okay. And that helps. Covered? Yeah, that keeps, that preserves. And, them. I mean, let's just say, for example, that most normal people don't eat olives at the same rate that we do as a family. How long would they last for yeah. without going bad? Well, if something starts to grow on it, <laughs> throw it away. Fair. Otherwise, I guarantee you, they'll be gone before the growth. Okay, fair enough. Okay? It all have to be gone in less Yeah, day this day in our day. house, that Today. lasts us a week. Because we love olives the last week. So. That big, black olives, two days. Yes. So, from me <laughs> and from me. Thank you for our fantastic olives. Adios. That's it. Done. <laughs> Cut.